turn off the radio. And uh, I always start by just simply welcoming you all to my booth. Hi, everybody. Thank you for Hello. stopping. My name's Stuart. So everybody just say hi, Stuart. Hi, Stuart. Cool. All right. Now, on the count of three, everybody tell me what your names are. Ready? All together on three. One, two, three. Awesome. Okay. Oh, hi, guys. Just barely made it in time for some lunch. Don't fight over it. This is the last salad. Go ahead. Really good for you, too. Uh, all right. Now that we've all been properly introduced, we may begin. First thing I wanted to show you was machine I made the salad with. This is a commercial food cutter and here's what you need to know. It has a giant suction cup on the base. There's a little lever at the back. Basically, when you lock it down, it creates a vacuum. It's got 600 pounds of pressure. So it'll stay where you put it, won't damage your beautiful countertops. Next, you have to choose your weapon. <laughs> okay, every machine comes with four blades and yes, every blade does something different. Don't panic. They're numbered on the bottom comes with a detailed instruction and video. So here's how it works. Blade goes in the front, turn the handle forward, and we're good to go. Grab the blade, turn the handle back, comes right off. The design of the machine is so simple, and that in turn makes them easy to clean. Now, let me show you how it works, and we'll start by cutting up a handful of carrots. Now, I would like y'all to know something that is very important. I always take the time to wash and scrub the vegetables before I make the salads. Oh, you're very welcome. <laughs> I can wash my hands while everybody's watching. I always wish I could see this when I go out to eat at a restaurant. <laughs> okay, let's not travel down that road too far, but I never peel the vegetables, so I was wondering, does anybody here know why it's better to leave the skin on the veggies? Nutrients. Oh, fantastic. That was like a chorus line. You guys are all health conscious. Perfect. You'd be surprised to learn how many people don't know who the vitamins are in the skin, uh, especially with carrots. 65% of the beta carotene is hiding right in that skin of that carrot, so don't peel them. And here we always recommend, to, yeah, that is kind of cool, to eat the whole thing. <laughs> All you do is put the carrot to the back and crank the handle. To say that this is a no-brainer would be an understatement. Although, I did have a lady one day down in Florida, she said she got one of these as a gift, didn't know how to use it. And I offered to teach her how, and I handed her the carrot before I could stop her. She put the carrot in here and said, I won't cut anything. <laughs> I had a guy over in Houston the other last year. He said his did a Mexican hat dance on the top. He couldn't get to work either. <laughs> goes to the back. <laughs> All right. Now, since this is a cooking show, I always love to ask this question. Who here likes to cook? I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wow, much. Seven, twelve. Wow. Who here really enjoys eating? Everybody. Awesome. Okay. Who would like to be able to cook and eat all the food they ever wanted to, still lose weight and lower your cholesterol? Wow. Look at all the hands on that one. Awesome. Good news for you. I'm going to show you a way you can do exactly that. I know that might seem hard to believe. Everybody knows that diets don't work, do they? No, they don't. It seems we all have pills and all these different plans, but how about the idea of just taking the food you are going to eat anyway, but cook it without grease and without water and it's healthy? That makes sense, right? Okay. Because everybody wants to eat healthier, we just need an easy way to do it because we're all extremely busy. <laughs> okay. I needed to cut up a bunch of carrots to start the show, so I'm going to make you a special deal. I'm going to put this away. We'll get back to it. We'll finish the salad. How many of you here like my salad maker so far? Yes. Awesome. About half of you. Who would like the machine if I gave it away for free? Whoa. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> Great news. I'm allowed to give away one of these for free at the end of every demonstration. You just have to stick around to the end to find out how. For now, let's start cooking some food. The star of the show is the cookware. These are the waterless pots that are made right here in the USA, and they've been around for, since 1917. Who here has ever heard or seen waterless cookware before? Somebody's going to raise their hand. They have. Cool. Who here already has some of this cookware and knows somebody that has some? She has some. How long have you had your cookware, sweetheart? Oh, boy. Oh, for, th for three years? Yes. Forty? Forty years? Holy cow! That's my sister, guys. She gets paid to come by here to see that. <laughs> wow, now that's impressive. Uh, seriously, if you'll stay to the end of the show, I'll have a special gift just for you. Uh, yeah, I know you'll like it. Uh, the one question I get asked every day at these events is the same thing over and over again. People ask me, what does waterless cooking mean? And the answer is really quite simple. Food is already all liquid. What our pots are designed to do is they seal around the rim, they trap in the moisture, and cook the vegetables or meat in its own natural juices. 
Now that makes perfect sense, right? Okay. A couple of things you have to know on how to cook without water. Like number one, to cook with no liquid, the pot needs to be at least three quarters full. So I always do it like this. I put together a vegetable medley, and I'd like you to notice something that I think is really, really neat about this when it's done. The flavors do not mix together after they're done cooking. Oh yeah, have you ever had a can of that mixed vegetable stuff where it all tasted the same? Yeah, no fun at all. Here the corn will taste like corn, not like anything else. But it also allows me to put in all the different colors, because you know the old saying, if it's not appealing to the eyesight, it's not going to be appealing to the appetite. So let me show you what I did. What do you think? Does that look pretty tasty? Awesome. That's just step number one. Fill the pot up. Now, step number two, uh, we have to take a cup of water and rinse the vegetables off. The few droplets that remain clinging to the vegetables is all I need to get the whole thing a nice kickstart. But watch this. We found out the two things that break down the vitamins and vegetables are number one, the water. You can see the colors and vitamins that I've so easily rinsed away. And number two is high heat. Uh, by experimenting, we discovered 200 degrees is what destroys the vitamins. And boiling, unfortunately, is already too hot. Steaming is hotter. I always thought that was the answer. It's not. And if you're trying to kill the vitamins, just put them in the microwave. That'll kill them for sure. <laughs> okay? We found a way to cook them below 200 degrees, and it's really quite simple. But I'm going to need a little bit of help with this. Uh, uh, sir, what was your name again? Frank. Okay, everybody, this is Frank. We're going to put Frank to work. So I need everybody to do me a big favor. Everybody say, hi, Frank. Hi, Frank. Uh, hi, Frank. All right, Frank, here's why I need your help. You are the closest person to this pot. Please don't get up. Will you be, our, will you be my pot watcher? Okay. Uh, Frank, what I need you to do is in about three minutes, there's going to be some steam coming out of the pot. You're going to see it before anybody else. <laughs> okay. When you see the steam, stop me and let me know that it's ready. Okay. The reason I need Frank's help is very simple. When the steam comes out of the pot, I have to take the thing off the stove. Otherwise, they burn. What happens is I miss it, and I burn them literally every single time. So I put Frank in charge, so that way if we burn the vegetables this time, who do we all get to blame? Frank, okay. <laughs> Please don't let us down, Frank, okay? And uh, just for the sake of the demonstration, we're going to take the exact same carrots, cook them in the water, so when we're done, we can taste the difference. Now let's go ahead and make some fried chicken and fried potatoes. Oh, yeah, you guys like that, idea. Okay, how many of you like fried chicken and fried potatoes? Yes, 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 awesome, perfect, okay. We're going to use this pan to do that. This is our newest addition to the set. We're calling the Freedom Skillet, and I, I know you're going to get a kick out of this. Okay, freedom from using oil and grease. Okay, that's cool. Freedom from being manufactured in a foreign country. Yeah, I like that part a lot. <laughs> okay, uh, once again, we're going to turn it on, but... Um, if we were going to make something deep fat fried, what goes in the pot before the food? Anybody? Oil, oil grease, fat, lard, butter, because it's really good for us, right? No. The reason we use grease and fat is so the food won't stick or burn to the pan. Today, we're going to just simply take everything and throw it into a completely dry pan. But with potatoes, I always scrub them real good. Put half in with the cut side down and the other half with the skin side down. We'll have one fried and one baked. Oh, and cut them in half because that cuts the cooking time in half. <laughs> okay. With the chicken, I always just use boneless and skinless chicken breast for the demonstration. But if you want to leave the bones in and the bone the bones out, it doesn't make a bit of difference. Please remember this one very simple point. Whenever you're cooking raw chicken, it's an imperative that you Rinse the chicken before you cook it. Everybody here does that, right? Yeah, you know as well as I do. If we don't rinse off raw chicken, it's likely that Uncle Sam and his beautiful wife, Mrs. Ella, will stop by for lunch. <laughs> I'm sorry, the jokes really are that bad, you guys. Okay. <laughs> it's always better if you just don't get that one at all. But anyway, in the pot it goes. Now we're off to the races. Chicken and potatoes, no grease, no fat, vegetables are on the pot, and Frank, we're doing pretty good, right? All right, now let's show y'all how we made the salad. And I realize not everyone here got a chance to try out my salads. But for the few of you who did, how were the salads, you guys? Salads were good. Cool. Uh, I have a confession, I did not invent that recipe. I found it in Prevention Magazine. They were doing a big article about vitamins and the cure for cancer. 
science has finally proven that there are three vitamins that are best at preventing cancer. A simple combination of vitamins A, E, and C. So what they did is they started off the salad with the carrots. Vitamin A. Zucchini, vitamin E, and yellow squash, which yellow squash has more vitamin C than even a delicious orange. Yeah, that's one of those super vegetables. <laughs> it's really cool. So right off the bat, we've got an extremely good foundation to our salad. Oh, and uh, what did y'all really think about the squash that was in the salad? I, I was just shocked. You, like, you really like yes. that? I've never been to a salad bar and seen squash. <laughs> <laughs> but it really is good. Uh, best thing about this machine is how easy it is to clean up when you're done. Um, I have a bucket of bleach water on the counter. Just rinse it off. Hit it with a towel. You're done. If you want to throw the blade in the dishwasher, go right ahead. They're stainless steel. But now let's change the blades. The next one is the grater. Today we'll turn a little bit of cabbage into coleslaw. Here's a... Oh yeah, this thing is awesome. Here's a great question. <laughs> how many of you like coleslaw? Awesome, cabbage eaters, great, okay. Who here has ever made coleslaw from scratch? One, two, three, four, wow, you guys really do cook. <laughs> That's a lot of work. Yeah, normally we think about grading up a head of cabbage, we're gonna reach for a tool that looks more like this thing right here. Oh no, not a knuckle buster. Uh, I actually had to throw it into the trailer to make it rust like that, but anyway. <laughs> Folks, these were originally designed by Johnson & Johnson. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> but people ask me this question all the time. Can you cut yourself on the machine? The answer is yes. We don't recommend it. Please watch closely. If your hand hits the top of the blade, it cannot hurt you. It won't matter which way you go or how hard you push down. If your fingers go inside the blade, it cannot hurt you. But if you get your hand caught down the hopper and you crank that handle, ouch. ouch. Yeah, we call that chef salad. <laughs> the jokes are getting better. <laughs> Don't get your hand caught down there. Um, um, awesome. Stop the presses on everything. I need everybody to help me out. Give Frank a gigantic round of applause. Thank you, Frank. You're awesome. You've saved our lunch. How are we doing over there? I'm going to give it just five more seconds, uh, but you're off the hook. You did your job very well. Okay, guys, don't forget that this machine does come with a safety flap that you can fit on top and use that to push the goodies into the plate. But did you notice where this was while I was doing your show for you today? Over there. This thing is only useful for doing small foods. If you're doing big foods, <laughs> it just gets in the way, okay? So use it, but don't you don't use it all the time, but don't lose that sucker. Let's get that, that thing off the stove. When we see the steam, all that needs to be done is just yank the thing off the burner, but check this out. Notice when I, crazy, when I spin the lid, that it floats on a bead of water. That's how they seal. Once we take it off the stove, the pot immediately begins to cool down. So it creates a vacuum. It sucks the lid down onto the pot, and now nothing else will escape. Now, here's the most important part about this next step. Set it off to the side somewhere it is not going to burn anything. I cannot tell you how many people have called me up and said they melted their countertop. <laughs> I'm serious, okay. Leave it alone and that's all you gotta do. Now that was easy, right? Fill it up, rinse it off, steam, off the stove. That's all you gotta do. How many of you would love a lot more easy in the kitchen these days? Yes, absolutely. Okay, let's get back to the salad, but because it just squashed that bug, I gotta wash my hands one more time. Sorry guys. Uh, okay, um, sorry. But uh, the next ingredient is the onion. And uh, I realize nobody likes shedding tears, right? It doesn't make a bit of sense to me to shed tears over onions when you have my machine. Watch this. First thing, don't peel the onion first. Just cut the thing into a wedge and then put it right over the top. Here we can shred and peel the onion both at the same time. I love that part. And there's your onions all shredded up and you'll never need to shed tears over onions again. Oh, you gotta like that. But it gets better. It gets better. Watch this. The next one's on the celery. And uh, have any of you ever seen somebody take the time to pull the, really, the strings out of the celery? There's nothing bad about the strings. It's just that they get stuck in our teeth, right? Watch this. 
run that celery right to the back and it shreds it right up. And all those thick, heavy strings, there they are, they slide right through the back. Oh, I gotta know something. Ladies, how many of you ladies are becoming very impressed with my machine? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, gentlemen, how many of you guys are getting nervous? <laughs> now that's not fair. The men are impressed too. But this is the part where the men usually realize my better half is going to want one of those for sure. And you're wondering, does it cost as much as a new chainsaw? <laughs> Guys, it does. <laughs> okay. But you know, uh, the storms that came through my hometown this Christmas, the tornadoes missed my house, thank God. But my big tree in the backyard, flattened like a pancake. So I ran down to the depot and I bought myself a chainsaw, not an axe. I've got enough firewood to last me the rest of my life now, okay? Guess how many times I've used that chainsaw since? Never again will I use it. I only had one tree. <laughs> I got a cool chainsaw. But here's where I'm really going with this. See, this tool right here will do exactly what I just showed you. But this is an axe. That's a chainsaw. Yeah, we need good tools in the house too. Oh, and then uh, watch this. The next blade is our flat slicing blade. And today we'll use it on a cucumber, but in my home, this machine gets used a lot more cutting up potatoes, radishes, mushrooms, just all the good stuff. Every slice comes out precisely the same thickness, so they all would be cooked at the same time. It takes all the hard work out of doing that. There's always a little bit of a back cut, just throw that away. And I've got good news. There's only one blade left. That last blade is the super fine grater blade, and I was wondering if anybody here besides myself really liked putting cheese on salad. Yes. yes, cheese, awesome. And the good news, they have proven that cheese is finally good for us. Yay, you can eat as much as you want, okay? <laughs> Unfortunately, I have no cheese at the show. Yeah, the only thing cheesy here are my jokes. <laughs> I know, they're bad. No, but no, I really can't put cheese in the salad because too many people are allergic to dairy. And you saw how I just handed the salads out to anybody who wandered by. And, well, I had to find a cheese substitute. And I settled on this. I thought I had enough time to do two more demos. I took the last piece and cut it in half. This is fresh butternut squash. <laughs> okay. Uh, all I did is I cut it down lengthwise. I took out the seeds and put the thick, heavy rind. Put that to the back. Watch this. Now this could be cheddar, parmesan, romano. It looks like cheese, it just won't taste like cheese. But I'm really hoping that someone today thought that I put cheese in a salad. But it was fresh pumpkin and it's got a, it peels it too. It's got a real sweet flavor. Your family and guests will love it. And uh, they probably will think it is cheese. <laughs> Voila, another beautiful nine vegetable salad. So the question would be, how many of you now are thoroughly impressed? My little, thoroughly impressed. Thank you all so much. Uh, stick around, I'll tell you how to get one for free, but I have to ask you to promise me something. Something really hard to do. If you take one of these machines home in it, oh, it doesn't matter how you get it. All right, the way you get one for free is you order a set of our cookware. Yeah, you knew there was gonna be a catch, right? <laughs> okay, there it is. Cat's out of the bag, she's running around the house now. Uh, you, <laughs> you can break down and buy the machine by itself but promise me that when, as soon as it arrives at your doorstep, you will throw the box it came with in the garbage immediately, put it out someplace where you can see it, and never hide it again. Because you know what happens, you put it away, right? Out of sight really is out of mind. It happened again to me just last year. I had a man stop by the booth. He'd been wanting to get one of these for years. And he was so happy, he said, I finally bought one at an estate sale for $2. Oh, wow. <laughs> he said it was in the original box and had never been used. I said, good for you, buddy. You finally got your machine, but that was sad. Because what happened was someone's grandmother had kicked the bucket. The kids found this hiding in her home, and they didn't know what it was, so they simply threw it away. How many of you think if Grandma had used this machine, the kids would never have thrown it away? Never, no. They would have fought over it. They would have said, oh, it's mine. No, she liked me better. You know how it goes, right? <laughs> oh, no, Grandma, I kicked the bucket. That's for sure. He told me. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I never go that far. <laughs> if she had used the machine and ate healthy, she might still be alive. God bless you, dear. <laughs> I'm not trying to scare you guys into buying my stuff. Okay. <laughs> well, 
let's go ahead and do this. Uh, I got to turn the chicken really fast. One thing left to share with you, and it's time to eat, okay? Uh, one thing you must know, please put this to memory. When you're cooking on stainless steel cookware, you have to use stainless steel tools. No plastic, no wood. Metal on metal is the only way to do it, okay? Please don't try to use these like Teflon. It's not Teflon. Carefully, we will <clears throat> turn the chicken. Okay, now, the last thing. You guys caught that one? That was terrible. Okay, uh, here, I'll, if, you, if you blinked, I'll turn it back. But uh, I'm just messing with you once again. I, I apologize. I never intended to turn the meat over. This pan is so perfect in its design. Right now, it's exactly the same temperature on the lid that it is the base. Just like a Dutch oven, cooking from the top down and the bottom up at the same time. Now, it'll cook it all the way through, but it'll only be crispy where the food is in contact with the pan. Okay? So, yeah, no, at home, yeah, this is the right point to do it. Don't lid it. Perfect. Turn it over. Uh, but <laughs> here I wanted to show you how really awesome the pan can cook. Not that I know how. Yes? I've got it on medium, and actually I turned it down just a little bit because this particular show, I've got extra wattage. Uh, that is an induction burner, yeah, but oh, so much detail I can tell you. It doesn't make a difference what type of stove you have. Gas, electric, flat top, and yes, they work on the new induction. Anyway, but those are cool. Uh, okay, uh, question. Who would agree with me if I said this? That kitchen is the most expensive room in the entire house. Not a challenge? Look at the hands going up here. Right on. Awesome. I asked that question one day. A guy said, nope, it was his garage. <laughs> I had to agree with him. I said, yeah, I've got a hot rod. i got a motorcycle. i got a motorhome. And guess what? I have craftsmen. I've got Snap-on. I've got every tool and known to man to fix my toys with. But when it came to the kitchen, I spared no expense for my sweetheart. I bought her beautiful countertops, gave her fantastic cabinet system, and the best appliances money could buy. But when it came to the cookware, 24 years ago when we first met, I didn't know this existed. And it's been around for 100 years. I mean, she's had it 40 years now on average. Yeah, this stuff lasts forever, but you can only get it at the shows. So we went down to the store, we did the best we could, and we bought the cookware that we thought would be the best. And I wanted to show you what we wanted to open. Wait a second. D does that remind anybody of home? Yeah. We came home with pots and pans that wound up looking more like this. And I wanted to show you how good it really got. Uh, this is our cookware, and why did I want to show you this? Simple. Pots and pans fall apart. They're designed to do it, and the most expensive one was the nonstick pan. This is my $700 egg pan. No, I didn't spend $700 on this one pan. I spent $20 on it, but I had to buy one every single year, 20 years, and wound up spending $700. So why do you think I kept throwing the thing away? Because the coating came off. Right. Where'd the coating go? Exactly. We ate it. Uh, you do know that the Teflon is poison, right? Yes. They linked it directly to stomach cancer, diverticulitis, and it emits a gas in your home that would make you feel like you had the flu. Yep. Good news. They outlawed the sale of Teflon in America last year. Yeah. Right. Yeah, how much did you Somebody say, hey, oh, we just give those away. Don't worry about it, guys. Okay, now, <laughs> nobody ever buys that separately. Uh, uh, oh, um, here's the thing. Haven't you noticed that now they have all the new green pans out there? The new nano, the ceramic pots, the coatings are going to come off of those too. And I want to show you something. Underneath the coated pan, you're going to find aluminum or a cast iron pot. The number one way aluminum gets into the human body is coming from our cookware. Number two is eating, drinking from aluminum cans. Number three is aluminum foil. Number four is antiperspirants. Go figure. But you might be saying to yourself, well, that's fine. I don't have a pan like that in my kitchen. You remember those old club aluminum pots? Okay, that, that was a long time ago. But how many of you here have ever eaten at a restaurant before? We all do it on a regular basis. You, you realize this is what they use in the restaurants to cook the food, right? They throw everything into a raw aluminum pan because these are really fast for cooking and the help won't steal them out the back door because they, they're cheap, okay? But everybody needs to know that every time you're using aluminum, it's getting poison in the food. Please do one thing, nothing at all. When you go home tonight, gather every nonstick pot and pan you've got and throw them straight in the garbage. Get some stainless steel. Get liner. Get some somewhere else. Don't keep feeding this to your family. Everybody okay with that? Great. Good news. Cast iron has never been linked to Alzheimer's. Oh, that's been linked to Alzheimer's. Anyway, uh, you would never do this to a cast iron pan. 
I had a guy one day, he used to yell at me. He said, no, 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 don't do that. He said, I have my grandma's pot. Every time I use it, it reminds me of grandma's cooking. I said, that's because everything grandma ever cooked in that pot, she left it in there. There's some of the food she cooked in there 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago. Does that look gross? Yeah, it is. It's terrible. But, you know, you get iron by eating out of cast iron, right? Okay, even though this smells like fish and tastes like liver, let's just pass around. Everybody have a big sip. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Uh, you don't have to eat your cookware to get vitamins. You just got to eat the right types of foods. And I've got great news. I've shown you the rest, but I came to the show to show you the very best. And it's time to eat. The best cookware has always been made in America. Somebody say yay. Yay. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, we have been building pots and pans for 100 years up in Wisconsin, and this is our top of the line. Seven plies. Now, let me show you what we did. Every one of these pots are stainless steel. The stainless steel will not rust. Acid will not eat away at it. It is safe to cook on. But stainless steel is a horrible heat conductor. So if it were just a layer of stainless, you'd have a hot spot right in the center. Everything would stick and burn, and nobody would be very happy. So what we did to fix the pan was simple. We started with stainless, then we put three pieces of aluminum across the bottom, up the sides, and then another piece of stainless was added underneath that to seal it up, make it safe to cook on, but it's going to cook really fast. Then we took it one step further. We put the cast iron in there too. It's in the bottom, the sides, and a third layer of stainless was added. Finally, we have the perfect cooking pan. It had Frank, feel how heavy the sucker is. Pass it around. I want everybody to get a chance to feel the quality. Notice the handles are made of Bakelite. They go in the oven up to 400 degrees and bake with them. Although I could cook a cake or a cornbread right on the stove top of this thing. Um, oh, no rivets holding the handles on. I love that. And nothing sticks. Not even the eggs. I've got the eggs sitting right there. I will fry an egg for you. If one of you can do me a big favor. It's going to be a big, a big, big one, okay? I keep forgetting to do the eggs. So one of you do me a huge favor when I get to the door price. You guys didn't forget about the door price, right? No, cool. When I get to the door price, one of you please remind me to cook the egg. Okay, so next time I say door price, you guys will say... Thank you. Please don't forget, because I will. <laughs> I'm not kidding, all right? And the reason they don't stick is the T304 surgical stainless steel. That's what's used in hospitals for surgical equipment. It's non-porous stainless steel, nothing sticks. It's magic for cookware. Bottom line, we're done. We built you the perfect pan. How many of you think they sound like they're going to be expensive? Awesome. I have great news for you. They are. <laughs> they are, guys. That's how you know you get what you pay for. Cheap is cheap, falls apart, we don't care. We pay extra, we expect it to last. How long do you think these are built to last? Longer. These pots are built to last for generations. Yes, ma'am. Really? Oh my God. This is my sister, guys. You can't hear what she said, so I'm gonna repeat it. She said that she gave her cookware to her granddaughter just the other day, and her granddaughter said, Grandma, didn't you ever use them? Because <laughs> they look just like this 40 years later. You're a special, special lady. Thank you so much. Oh, uh, the guarantee is laser engraved right onto the side of every pot, by the way. Name, the address, the phone number to the factory. It's right there, so you can't lose the guarantee. And here's my favorite part. We're completely done. We're going to eat now. It doesn't say send it back to China. <laughs> Yay. Yay. It says that it's manufactured in Wisconsin, and that makes it American-made. God bless you all. I love waving my flag. Let's eat. I sure hope y'all are hungry. Okay. Now, the next thing we're going to question I'm going to give you, I know you know the answer to, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Uh, whenever we cook the food in water, usually we will separate the food from the liquid, right? Okay. Which part of this now has the vitamins? You're right. Which part of this do we serve to the family? This is weird. If I made a pot of coffee, we would have boiled the grounds, drank the juice, and thrown the grinds away, right? <laughs> How did this get mixed up? My grandmother would have saved that for soup. My mom poured it down the drain. We ate the leftovers. Dad went out to the store and bought the vitamins back. I love this little display. <laughs> Adam threw them out, bought them again. Nothing wrong with putting supplements in your diet. How many of you think it would be smarter to 
leave the vitamins in the food in the first place. That makes sense. It really does. And then, uh, there's another problem. See, the cookware you have at home, unless you have my pans, will not allow you to leave the vitamins in the food. And now you have another problem, you got to figure out how to make that taste like food again. Yeah, you should see the look Shall we give me. What do we put on them now to make them taste better? Salt, pepper, butter. Yeah, abs absolutely. Butter, salt, sugar, cheese, ranch dressing, whatever we get our hands on. And then we complain, I can't lose weight, my blood pressure's out of whack, I ate my vegetables, where did I go wrong? I don't want y'all not to blame yourselves, because it is not your fault. You know as well as I do, if we didn't put that on there, no one would eat them, right? Guess whose fault it really was? Cookware. I can't blame the pan, can we? I can, because I know how to use this tool just like you do. We fill it with oil and grease, we fry it. We fill it with water and we boil it, or we steam it. And we cook it and we serve it to the family, and that's the real problem. Here's the solution. This is not something new. We didn't dream this up last week. A hundred years now, teaching families how to do this. Once we open the lid, that breaks the seal and you can see how bright the colors stay. Wow, Fred, you're a really good cook, buddy. <laughs> smell how good they smell. This is living food. Oh, you'll be able to smell it in a second. Living food for living people. And the lids can be used for hot plates. <laughs> uh, need dinner on the table in a hurry? Tell the family, sit down, eat. Dinner's on the table. <laughs> I <laughs> like that way too much. I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> Seriously. By not putting the water in the pot, though, you've always got more room for the food. So a full quart of vegetables comes out of a one quart pan. I love that. Finally, let's see what happens. With that chicken and potato that we fried with no oil or fat. And if you recall, we put this in here, we added nothing but the meat and potatoes. No oil, no nothing. Grab a fork pop up that first potato and I want to show you that it comes out nice and crispy, golden brown, without the oil or the grease. How did it go? Not bad. Here's my baked potato and it too comes out beautifully done every time. You ready? Stab. All right, there's our baked potato. It had a brown spot, so we'll just cut that out. Uh, the chicken breast. This could have been a pork chop, a hamburger, a steak. It wouldn't make a difference. Golden brown, tender and dripping with juice. Now, totally crispy on the bottom. I made a really big deal about not turning the meat over. Here's why I did that. If this were a regular pan, we did not turn the meat over, you know what I'm going to find in the middle, right? Exactly. It should be raw, we can't eat raw chicken. But because my pot really does conduct heat from the top down, as well as the bottom up, it cooks it all the way through. Now that's impressive. I mean, the proof's in the pudding, you guys. And that's what, that, that makes our pots awesome. Okay, let's eat. Sure hope somebody here's hungry. Yes, good, okay. Here's my plan. Uh, first, I've spared no expense on your flatware. Yeah, I got this idea down at Pizza Hut. Please don't tell Pizza Hut where their shaker went, okay? <laughs> I'm in trouble here. Uh, Frank, grab the shaker, please. Turn it upside down, get a toothpick or two for yourself, and send the shaker on around. Here's the plan, everybody. Let's start with the carrots that we cooked in the water first. I'm gonna ask everybody to try one tiny bite of the boiled carrot. Then, try one of these that I did without the water, and tell me if you can taste the difference. Got the brown spot out of there. Okay. Now, um, oh, and uh, just grab the whole thing. Follow the toothpick, stab one, and off it goes. No butter, no salt, no seasoning whatsoever. I deliberately do not season the food for the demonstration for two reasons. Number one, I don't want y'all going home thinking, well, it was his seasoning. Oh, yeah, the toothpicks, follow the toothpicks. Go that way. Go that way. There we go. Uh, I don't want y'all to think it was the seasoning that made it taste better. Number two, somebody here might be on a, a diabetic diet and would be really tickled with me if I'd stuck something in there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I leave the seasoning off. When you're at home, you go ahead and do what you must. Uh, I always put butter, salt, and pepper on my vegetables. And I always season my meat with some type of sauce or seasoning. That's just me. Uh, and I know that using real butter is better than using imitation spread. How many of you know that's a fact? That is a fact. We figured it out by doing a very simple scientific experiment. We took a pad of butter and a pad of margarine, put them on two separate plates, and set them out on the back porch. Check to see which one the flies go to. <laughs> they won't touch the margarine. Oh, these are perfect. But they'll be all over that butter. Oh, yeah. And uh, 
Guys, probably the best way to do this one here is to use your toothpick more like a shish kebab. Stab two or three different things on your plate on your on your toothpick and then set it on its way. And don't be too shy to take a nice big piece of broccoli, okay guys? Alright, now these are the ones cooked with no water. Enjoy. Then we've got our chicken and potatoes. We're gonna send these around backwards, just in case you're wondering. Okay. That way you guys are no longer at the end of the line, you're at the beginning of the line. Okay. Now if you haven't figured it out by now, I love my job. It's not an easy job. I spend a lot of time traveling all over this beautiful nation, going to different shows and fairs. I meet a lot of really neat people and see a lot of cool places, like once in a while I get to come to San Antonio. <laughs> Your town is awesome, guys. <laughs> you don't have to tell you that. But, uh, oh, I'll train you. Careful, those potatoes are hot. But every once in a while, someone will sit down to my show and do something or say something that I'm not expecting. Uh, last year, I had a little grandmother stop by. She said that she wanted the biggest set of cookware we made. The biggest set is everything in the booth, 75 pieces of cookware. So I wrote up her order and asked her how many people she was cooking for. She said just herself. So I wondered why she ordered the biggest set, and here's what she told me. She said 40 years ago, a young man came to her home did a demonstration for her and her family. Back then, her husband said, no, we cannot buy the cookware. Forty years went by, she found me at the fair. Finally, she said, thank God, I found the cookware again. She bought it all. She said, 40 years ago, her children were living at home. She wanted to start cooking this way, but they couldn't afford it. She said, now my husband is finally gone. The kids have all grown up, and I can afford it, and I'm buying this to give to my children just like you gave it to your granddaughter. She says, I'm going to make sure my grandbabies start eating this way right now. <laughs> I thought that was super cool. There you go. I always save the best for the last. Oh, by the way, we're at the end. Corn. Oh, thank you. No, no, yeah, that's right, the door prize. Oh, shoot. I, I didn't forget. <laughs> thank you for the egg. Um, how many of y'all can taste the difference between the boiled carrots and the ones I did without Those the water. Awesome. That's amazing, isn't it? Awesome. Great. Nice. Which one did you like better? The broccoli. Yeah, the broccoli. Carrot, everything. Did everything. you notice the flavors didn't mix? Right. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. And uh, oh, would any of you think that if we could start eating like this all the time? Well, that was really easy to do. Trying some hard guys. But that if we eat like this all the time, we'd be eating a lot healthier. Yeah. yeah. When's going to be the best time to start eating healthier, everybody? Now. Yeah, right now. Why not? And uh, oh, this is be an easy, oh, I'll save you some pork. An, an easy and a fast way to do that. Gotcha. Sir, I want you to taste this. It's out of this world. No butter, no salt. Yep. Oh, and uh, I know you'll appreciate this. Because our vegetables taste this good without the butter and salt, this is the reason why the American Diabetic Association recommends our cookware. Because you know, a diabetic diet means no butter and no salt. I want to make sure you guys can just try that. So here you can really enjoy the food and you don't need the butter and salt. We have one bite of corn left. Who wants that last bite of corn? Come on, buddy. That's the last bite. How is the chicken and potatoes, you guys? Go ahead and finish it off. <laughs> Go ahead and finish it off. Does anybody want the last of the potatoes before I pull down the tube? Oh, yeah, you do. Finish those off. How's that corn, guys? That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, I love the way this works. And uh, let's go ahead and clean up the kitchen. Uh, I, I'm going to clean the pan, give away the door prize. My job is done. Oh, and thank you. And sorry. <laughs> and fry the egg. Okay. Um, but I have to put this in here, and I've thought of many different ways of trying to get this 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 idea, this concept across to you guys. This is going to probably sink in the best. Do y'all want to know what the only difference was between these two vegetables? <laughs> You're a genius. Everybody always says the water. The only difference was the pan that we used, wasn't it? Because see, it wouldn't make a bit of difference if you had this $20 pot you bought at Walmart, and I got so sick and tired of the coating come off, I went down to <laughs> Williams and Sonoma, I paid $200 to buy this Capilon thing. They said the coating wouldn't come out. It still did. <laughs> and now I got a $200 pan that I literally am going to, well, I'm going to use it for the demonstration, but I will never cook out of this again. Um, and of course, knowing that these are leaching contaminants into your food, which is unacceptable, 
and they have to be replaced over and over again. The only thing we really changed, everybody, was that we put the vegetables in here and added nothing. And that was easy to do, right? Yeah, you gotta, it's gotta be easy. We all are too hard, too busy working, so we need something we just do real fast. Oh, and uh, speaking of using to clean, uh, I did something really bad. I have deliberately burnt this pan. I never turned it off. How, who here has ever deliberately burnt up their pot before? Oh, yeah. Not on purpose, right? Oh, not on purpose. Not on purpose. <laughs> but I forget. Okay. Oh, I'm blowing the egg. <laughs> That's right. If this happens to your cookware, please, first of all, don't panic. Okay? Oh, yeah, that, that if that was any other pot or pan, you might as well just throw it in the trash. Okay? Here's how you fix it. Don't let our pan cool down. While it's still hot, take it to the sink, hit it with cold water. Now, everybody knows that's a huge mistake with cookware, right? Any other potter pan would work or bend, not these. Good luck trying to destroy one of these pots. That's why we guarantee them forever. We know you can't tear them up. But anyway. Um, and, oh, okay. Then, take a stainless steel spatula and scrape that baked on, burnt on food out of the pan. Uh, this is nothing. If I let this pot soak for about 10 minutes, I'd wipe it out with a sponge. What I'm talking about is when you fell asleep on the couch with a pot of rice on the stove and you baked it an inch deep <laughs> into the bottom of the pot. You scrape that baked on, burn on mess out of that pot. Now, right now, I'm really hoping one of you are thinking what I want you to think. Exactly, you guys are awesome. Is this scratching the pan? You better believe it. <laughs> oh yeah, it's scratching it up good. But scratching our pots is extremely good for them. Now that sounds weird, right? Yeah, we're just so used to the non-stick stuff. They always say, don't scratch it because the stuff comes off. This is different. See how they high polish them on the outside? But the interior and the base of every piece is brushed. What it is, is that the high polish reflects the heat away from the pan. So we scratched them for you at the factory so that the heat would go through more efficiently and we re request you to keep scratching them. It only breaks them in. It takes about 20 years to break them in really good, okay? But uh, I, I have faith in you. Just keep scrubbing on them, scratching on them, scraping on them. The more you use them, the better they're gonna get. And then pour all that burnt stuff down the trash. And as you can see, couldn't see what I was doing. I got rid of most of the burn on stuff, the thick stuff. The rest of that will really clean out in the dishwasher. Oh, of course, everything here is dishwasher safe, good lord. Uh, but I have no dishwasher at the show. So I'm gonna take it over here to my magic sink and we're gonna give it a quick wash. My favorite cleanser is this stuff. It's called Cameo. You can buy it at the grocery store. They don't sell Cameo where you're shopping. They have Barkeeper's Friend. Uh -huh. <laughs> or Von Emmy. All I really hope that I've done for y'all today is that I've convinced you to go home and get rid of every non-stick pot and pan that you have. If it has a coating in it, toss it out. It's putting stuff in your food. Get some stainless steel. Now, if you're interested in my cookware, cool. Please stick around. I'll get you a full-color brochure, and I'll tell you about our specials. Um, a little heads up. Oh, I did burn the heck out of that one. Uh, these are not cheap. But they never were, were they? But when you only have to buy them once, they really cost you nothing over the course of a lifetime to own. Uh, so stick around, I'll get your brochure and tell you all about the specials. Please be aware that they do sell cheap stainless steel in the stores. Boy, I did burn the tar out of that one. Enough. I'll clean it the rest of the way after y'all are gone. But uh, the cheap stainless steel is not non porous. And when you burn them up, you just have to throw them away. These will never, ever have to be discarded. I will clean them a little bit better before I do the next demo. But just so you know, I'm tired of scrubbing. <sighs> Take a closer look at this pot. See all the scratches? That is not a new pan, right? I've been using this exact same one to do that presentation for the last eight years. I burn it three or four times a day, and I clean it up every time. <laughs> That's, that's how you take care of these pots. Just, just scratch the heck out of them. Don't worry about it. Okay, now, let's give away the door prize. Okay. Hey. <laughs> I told you guys. Thank you. Okay, uh, believe it or not, uh, frying an egg is about as exciting as watching paint dry. Let's multitask. Fry the egg and give away the door prize at the same time. Okay, but uh, there is a secret to keeping the egg from sticking to a stainless steel pot. And I want to share that secret with you today. My confession is this. I have owned a set of kitchen craft now for the past 18 years. For the first 10 years I owned it, I couldn't fry an egg to save my life in this pan because they always stuck no matter how much I tried to keep them doing it. And then one day, I stumbled across a secret. 
you guys have all the food you want to know. Uh, one day I stumbled across the secret. This is not it. You have to put some oil in the pan to fry an egg, okay? I recommend olive oil. How many of y'all know that olive oil is the healthier choice? It really is. Very healthy. Uh, I know they got that new coconut oil, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, okay, that's good too. <laughs> okay, use whatever you want. Spray the pan lightly, add the liquid chicken. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that's what my brother used to call him. <laughs> um, but the secret to keep the egg from sticking to the stainless steel pan turned out to be this. All right, who just snapped what I did that was really weird? Oh, it was cold. You nailed it. The pan was cold. It can't be that simple, can it? Come on, we know how to fry an egg. Haven't we done it all our lives? We heat the pan up, we melt the butter, the egg goes in last. That's how it's done. I found out by accident that if you just bring it all to temperature at the same time, the oil will stay under the egg and float right off the pan. Try it out sometime. You'll find out I'm not pulling your leg. It is flawless. You better with an almond. Yeah. Okay, but now you all know what the secret is to keep the eggs from sticking. Let's give away the door prize. After the door prize, if you guys want a brochure, just don't run away. I'll get you one. I'll tell you about the specials. I did tell you I was going to give away a cookbook, right? These are awesome. It's an instruction guide. It tells you how to cook without water and fry without oil. The rest is all recipes, and the salad recipe I made for you is there. Here's how we give it away. The chair you're sitting in is numbered for the door prize. The numbers are very conveniently taped into the seat back of your chair. You're physically leaning up against the numbers. If you want to, go ahead and take a peek. See what chances that you chose. You will suddenly realize that those of you sat in the front row have double chances each. Cool, huh? Those who sat in the back row have single chances. Those who stood the entire time have tired feet. <laughs> Sir, just keep your hand on the back of that one chair. That is yours, okay? Fair enough. Okay. I've got all the numbers in this old pot. Oh. This might look a little bit more familiar. A 1959 kitchen craft pan. It's my prized possession. The office sent it to me because he wanted me to do this. The boss said, thump it. That's a three-ply. This is seven-ply. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of times folks give the old stuff to their kids and get new stuff. Let's draw. The winner will be the lucky one who sat down in chair number 13. That's this young man right here in the front. Give him a round of applause, everybody. Congratulations. Well, buddy, that's your book. Take it home and tear it up. I'll bring it over there in just a second, you guys. Careful. But it's not going to stick to the band. Yeah, see a little, the right tool, the right know-how, and suddenly cooking becomes really, really easy. And, uh, oh, have any of you ever attempted to do the flip thing like they do at the restaurants? Yeah. Now, if it didn't work for you, it could be that the pan you tried to use to do it with wasn't shaped right. This has the right shape. All you do is just kind of get it rolling, you throw it in the air, and over it goes. It takes practice to figure out how not to break the yolk. Yeah, and I broke the yolk, but no big deal. We'll slide that puppy right on out of there, and if I need another egg right away, bang, hit it with cold water, because it won't warp or bend, cool her down fast, wipe it out with a towel, do it again. Now, they don't need to be cold, just not hot, but that was a lot of fun, wasn't it? That's awesome. Yeah, I like my show cool. There's only one thing left I can do for you. I can get you a brochure, I can tell you how much the pots really are, but I know that many people only watch my shows because they know they're going to get free food. <laughs> it's true. I was wondering who here really really would like to know how much this stuff is. Raise your hand up high. I know they do, they do, they do, they do, they do, they do. Stay with me. I have that special gift if you'll stay. Okay, um, stay with me if you'd like. If you'd rather run along and go check out windows and pools and hot tubs and all that stuff, you can take off. It won't hurt my feelings. This last part is really, really fast. I have a special that I put together. It just needs to be explained. And what I did is I piled all the cookware up down here on this end of the booth. We're noticing that you guys sat all the way down there. You can't see really good anymore. I'll try to hold everything up. <laughs> okay. But before I get carried away with this, do you mind if I ask? How did y'all like my cooking part of the show? Awesome. Everything was okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I really do spend a lot of time and care making sure everything is clean and sanitary for y'all to enjoy. And I, hope you got, I hope you like that too. But uh, please sit back. Relax for just a couple more minutes. Here's what I'd like to do. I'm going to hand everybody who wants one a clipboard, okay? 
Uh, I can only go over this one time, so please pay close attention. The Cooper is on the front page. Underneath that, oh, forgot something. Underneath that, hold on. I'm going to watch this while I'm having breakfast tomorrow, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that's Now, underneath the full-color brochure, I have the opportunity form for you. If you would like to take this opportunity to invest in your family's good health, here's how you get it, okay? And we deliver it to your home by Federal Express. You do not have to try to carry it out to the car. Somebody say, yay. Yay. <laughs> be a lot of work for me to bring it in here. Too much work to ask you to carry it home. So that's how you get the cookware. If you cannot get the pans, that's okay. You don't have to tell me why. I already know. You can leave that blank. Sit in your chair when you go. Take home the full color brochure with my compliments, and I'll promise you this. I'll be right here next year. Waiting for you to come back, I promise you, I will not let you down, okay? But you, you don't get the discounts if you order it on the website, okay? So I'll be back next year, but we'll do it again. Uh, here's one other thing. Can you order one pan or two pieces by themselves? Please, yes. You can get whatever you want, even if it's just one pan. Uh, if you're only going to get one piece, start with this one. Pass that one around. That's the one I did the chicken and the potatoes with. Start frying without oil and grease and watch your, watch your cholesterol just drop, okay? Uh, you know how you can always order things on, on Amazon and get them cheaper, right? They have five-ply waterless cookware on Amazon right now, and this is what they sent you. That's made in China. They want you to think it's us. Please don't be fooled by the invitations, okay? <laughs> how many of you like my salad machine? Yay, cool. Those are sold separately. And then there's something special. This is our crock pot or slow cooker. Now I know you have a crock pot at home. This is different. It separates from the base. So you have a pot and you have a slow cooker when you want one. What really sets it apart from, oh boy, all other pans is it's waterless. I put this chicken in this pot this morning at uh, 11 o'clock at 11 o'clock this morning without a drop of liquid. I wanted to demonstrate how this pot works. Now that it's closing time, the pot is full of liquid. That's how these work. You put a roast beef in there, a turkey breast, ham, venison, whatever you wish, with the vegetables, season it up, and does that smell good? It smell good. <laughs> okay, season it up and then put it on the base and go away. That's all you got to do. When you come home from work or whatever, it's waiting for you instead of you waiting to make dinner. Now here's the best part. Remember I told you I get to give away one kitchen cutter for free, right? I told you how I was going to do that too. Okay. I can give away a couple of the gourmet cookers. If I were going to throw that in, who would like to have that one piece? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Only one problem. Chicken must stay here. <laughs> I know. You're invited for dinner, though. Just hang out with me for a little while. <laughs> I'll, take you. I'll take care of you. But uh, oh, and we have a bigger one too. Let me uh, hold on. Let me explain to you what this thing is. Uh, this is our six quart. Uh, we made a bigger one, so if you have a larger family, uh, this is a, a new a new steamer rack. It's included with the pack. steam your vegetables or or hammer lobster, tamales, that sort of stuff. Uh, this is a pan handler. The idea was for holiday meals. That would be pretty handy, wouldn't it? And it even even though you're not supposed to use wood, this is all I had. It has a slot for the spoon. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. Okay, but anyway, just need to make sure you do I have that. Now let's head up to the boards. Okay. When you get your clipboard, please stay on the front page. That's all that I ask you. Stay on the front page. That way, we'll, oh, you guys are together, aren't you? Okay, I finally figured that out. Uh, stay on the front page so that we're all be in the same spot at the same time. Okay. That lovely lady. And make sure Grandma gets one too. There you go. You hang on to that one. You're good. They only need one. Yeah. One for these guys. One for these girls. I know you have two homes. I know that. <laughs> okay. Hold on. I got one for boys, guys. Don't no fret. I was a Boy Scout growing up. Y'all know what the Boy Scout motto is, right? Exactly. Strange. It's the same as the Girl Scout motto. Um, <laughs> thank you very much. Always be prepared. Did everybody get a clipboard who wanted one? Did I miss anybody? Sure. Okay, good. Ready? Go. Uh, if you look up here at my counter now, you will notice that we have a classic set. The classic set is only the top row. It's the small pieces. The set was designed for Grandma and Grandpa. They bought the RV and they're traveling off into the sunset, just the two of them forevermore. It's for two people. <laughs> okay? If you have a family to feed, 
the bottom row is what you should be looking at. That's the family set. That will handle a family of four to maybe five people. Okay. If you wanted to get both sets together, that's the deluxe set. You can all see on the brochure where it says the deluxe set. Please tell me yes. Yes. Excellent. That is the best set that I have. And then uh, one, one feature, just one. There's 20 features I could show you. Let's just do one. This piece on the back, oh, everybody ignore the clipboards for just a minute, watch this. This piece on the end is not a pot. It is the double boiler, right. Turn it upside down, it is a high dome cover. Now I could do this. I can fill this pan with 10 ears of corn on the top. Put it on the stove, maybe stick it up like this, use the dome lid for the cover, cook it with no water, right? Okay, then I could take the one quart, put the carrots, broccoli, and cauliflower in that one, for example, put it on top, Yes, and cook both of them together on one burner at the same time. It looks ridiculous. It really does work. <laughs> okay. Uh, what two days of the year would that come in handy? You better believe it. Yeah, only thing is, this works beautifully here in Texas. Do not attempt to do this if you move to California or Oklahoma. You know why, right? Are you leaving? Okay. But, Guarantee you, your family and friends will think you have the coolest kitchen in the entire town and the lowest utility bill. I love that feature too. The family set does the same thing. The pieces are simply bigger. Is everybody still with me on this one more time? Tell me yes. Yes. Awesome. Okay, one last thing and we're there. Uh, behind me is our specialty department. Uh, this is not really a set back here. Here we have the really big stuff. I've got giant stock pots the size of this thing. It's huge. Uh, I've got griddles, woks, bakeware. Like, this is just this is just a hodgepodge of all the other things that we manufacture. And uh, I use this one for making popcorn. So the thing is awesome. And the bakeware is to die for. Who here, who here likes to bake? Oh boy, you guys are in luck. This is my personal favorite piece out of the entire set. Feel the way of that sucker. Please pass it around. Those cookie sheets don't go boink. Any, oh, you got one of those? <laughs> you don't need butter or parchment paper on that sucker. You just plop the cookies on there and oh my gosh, they brown on both sides. It's insane how good that thing is. I love that one. But let's get to the prices. That's what you really want to know. What does, what does the best cooker in the world really cost? Uh, the truth is, Considering you're going to have it your entire lifetime and one day give it to your grandkids, it costs nothing to own this. It's just that i got to get you past the initial purchase. That's the hard part, okay? Um, have any of y'all looked at cookware lately in the stores? If we went down to the Walmart, just to kind of put things in perspective, uh, a set of Paula Deen, Rachel Ray, Wolfgang Puck will run you $1 to $200. Okay. We know they don't last. We throw them away and we don't buy them again. We go next to Bed Bath & Beyond. And then we buy theirs. And they fall apart. We go to Dillard's or J.C. Penney's. We buy theirs. And then we eventually wind up in the Cooper Mecca store, Williams and Sonoma. <laughs> okay. And um, eventually everybody winds up here. But um, if you were in Williams and Sonoma right now, we'd be looking at Cavalon. We'd be looking at all clad. We'd be looking at lot set, the French stuff, the good stuff, right? And what you'll discover is that to buy the really good cookware runs one, two, or three, sometimes four hundred dollars a piece. And then the lid sold separately. And by the time you build a set of, say, Capilot, you're going to be spending five hundred, eight hundred dollars. And uh, a set of all clad stainless steel, anywhere from one to two thousand dollars. And it's worth it because this is the good stuff and you get what you pay for. Still, the Capilot still comes off. But anyway, um, the only difference is these still have to have water and oil. This is special, but it was never inexpensive to order a set of our cookware. In fact, that's why I asked my sweet little grandmother over here to stick around to the end to help me out. <laughs> Darling, 40 years ago, would I be safe to say that you paid around $500 to buy that set 40 years ago? Right around there. I know it was a long time ago. <laughs> um, you know, I love this part. I got my little sign out here. It's actually a misprint. Rolls Royce had kept that on his desk all his life. The actual quote is, the quality will be remembered long after the price has been forgotten. <laughs> it makes perfect sense. And 40 years ago, $500, well, you could have bought a brand new car back in the 60s for about three grand. What's a new car cost now, guys? 30, okay. 
So if this has been going up at the same rate everything else had, I'm getting ready to tell you right. And we, we wouldn't be too far from wrong. Can I ask you a quick question? Do you, would you recommend the cooker to all these nice people? Oh, I would. Oh, my job. It's so easy when I have somebody who's had the cooker all their lives just to stop in and say, hey guys, guess what? <laughs> this is good stuff. And I promised you a special gift if you stay to the end. That's for you to give to your granddaughter. Okay? Yeah, that's the recipe so she can use her cooker to its full extent. How totally cool. Okay, let me throw the prices at you. There's nothing more I can do. I've done my best to price condition you. Grab your clipboards, man your pens, everybody. I'll start with the classic set and work my way down. Uh, if you didn't find it, the pen is hiding in the top clip of your clipboard. So just snap that puppy out of there. Uh, remember, you can order this online. You can. If you're on the website, thanks, sweetie. If you're on the website today, the classic set will run you $2,600. It's worth it, even at that price. But once a year at the show, you can get this classic set for less than one night stay at... Oh, I forgot. Methodist Hospital. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but it's on sale for only $17.95. Please write that in. $17.95 for the classic set. And the family set, which is twice the size of the classic, is only $400 more. Uh, the family set is on sale today for only $21.95. Please write in $21.95 for the family set. Uh, regularly it'd be $3,000 if you ordered it online, so you get a discount. Uh, if you'd like to get the, uh, the deluxe set, I have a real surprise for you, uh, $21.95. Uh, the deluxe set is on special today for around the price of a new riding lawnmower. Yeah, it's only $32.95. Please write that in, $32.95 for the deluxe, regularly $4,000, $32.95 here today. And the last set is the works. Now, if anybody orders the works set, here's the good news. I'll come home with you for two weeks to do all your cooking and cleaning. <laughs> oh, now cut that out. You know I'm kidding, okay? Uh, but everything together is on special today at the show, and it's only $49.95. $49.95, that's for the works. And these are all good prices, and I still have a surprise for you. Uh, at the very end, I throw in a few items for free, so let me go ahead and do that real quick. If I'll move you back to the top of the brochure, I have the breakfast combo, and the combo would regularly retail for $400, but at the show you get the discounts, so you can have the combo today for only $295, so please write down $295 for the combo. The kitchen cutter, I'm just curious, how many of y'all really did like the kitchen cutter? <laughs> Yeah, it really is that easy to use. There's nothing to it. Uh, the kitchen cutters retail for $350, but here at the show, it's on special for the exact same price that I paid to buy my sweetheart her KitchenAid mixer last year for Christmas. I think it's nice. Uh, it's on special for only $279. Please write that in. $279 for the cutter. And the accessories, uh, just write down $75 for the accessories. $75. And the last piece is the gourmet cooker. Now, I really love doing this. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that really does smell good. That's my special recipe. It's on my website, by the way. Um, anyway, um, the gourmet cooker is regularly priced for $600 so if you went online. Show price, half the price I paid for my smartphone. It's only $449. Please write that in. $449 for the gourmet cooker. And uh, yeah, I know people tell me I got my they got their cell phone for free. No. <laughs> that didn't happen. Okay. <laughs> now I've got some good news. At the end, I get to give away free cookware. It's my favorite part. How many of you would like to get some cookware for free? Excellent. Okay. How many of you tell me that you really like my cookware? Even better. How many of you like my show? I really, I really appreciate that. You guys are so cool. You know, I've got a tough job. I come to the show every day, and I that shows every day. Different shows every 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 town. And I come out here, and I pour my heart out to you guys, trying to convince you that it's a good idea to start eating healthy. Uh, how many of you would agree that if we could eat healthy like this all the time, that would be a fantastic idea? Yes. It really would. And the best time to start? Yeah. Why not? And uh, I've got some good news. Everybody can afford their cookware. Yeah, there's a way. Um, <laughs> to get it this way, though, you're going to have to want it so badly you can taste it. But I do have a layaway plan. If you'd like, just let me know. I can put it on a 3, 6, or 12-month layaway. The way it works is you pick up what you want. I add it all together. Divide by 
6 or 12, every month we send you an email, and you open an email, you type in your credit card number, and you hit send. <laughs> Small monthly payments, no interest, no fees, when you finish the payments, we send you the cookware. That's simple. And the classic set would break down over a year to be only $6 a day. That's less than the price of parking at the Alamo Dome. So use the, use the layaway to get your pots, okay? I do take all major credit cards, checks, cash, and small children and train as well. Fred, I was kidding. Okay, Frank, I was kidding. All right. <laughs> your wife just left you here. And she said, and you come back without one of the kids? Yeah, that, oh, oh, that, that. And he finally came back. Oh, my guys. No, he can't trade in the kids. Okay. Fair enough. All right. Now, oh, just leave that in the chair, guys. I'll pick those up in a minute. I imagine I'm going to pick up all of them. But anyway, I'm going to do my best to keep going. Uh, guys? Here's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm only allowed to give away one kitchen cutter for free. And what I've always done is, since there's only one, and how many of you really like the kitchen cutter? Everybody. I always did it like this. The first person to raise their hand and let me know that they had already decided to order one of the sets. Either the classic, the family, the deluxe, or the works. I only had one. The first one, thank you. Now, if you only had one gift to give away and you were in my situation, you'd probably do the same thing, right? Makes sense. Good news. The office called me up. They said last year business was so good. Everybody's been buying our cooker like it's going out of style. This year, every set is going to include a brand new kitchen cutter as a gift. So no limitations. Pick any set you'd like, you're going to get a brand new kitchen cutter. Yeah, I really like that. Then watch what else I get to do. Uh, because this is a factory show, and how many of you really appreciate the fact that we still make this in the United States? Thank you. Really appreciate that. The factory workers want me to give you a gift as well. They simply instructed me to tell you, thank you for buying American. Because you are, they have jobs. This year, with every set, they're going to include a brand new seven inch saute skillet. The one I did the fried egg with is a special gift from the factory. So that means you get them both. I'll include the cutter, uh, excuse me, the company's including the cutter, the factory's thrown in the skillet. Then I want to throw in one more super, super special gift. So I know you guys like gonna like this. The last special gift though is for me to you, and I only have a couple of these left. This show's really been really good, guys. Everybody's been buying the cutware. I have two left to give away. This is my last demonstration. So for two more of you tonight, you let me know you'd like to order one of my sets. I'm gonna do something really special here. Okay. And here's how we'll do it. Go ahead now and grab your full color brochure. Oh wait, before you do that. Take a look at that brochure one last time. Just hypothetically, if you were choosing a set today, pick which set you know would work best for your family. Classic sets for two, family set for four to five. The deluxe if you really have a huge family to feed, and the works if you just gotta go home and clean out the cabinets and start all over, okay? Now, with that in mind, grab that brochure, pull it free from your clipboard, and take that home. That's for you to keep. Now, let me direct your attention over to the opportunity form one of these on every clipboard, and here's what we need to do. If you look up into the top left-hand corner of that form, you'll notice a questionnaire. Does everybody see where it says, what impressed you most about kitchen craft? Okay, go ahead, everybody, take your pen, check the very last box on the end of the list. <laughs> yes! Put in a good word for me first, then check off all the other ones, okay? Check off the ones that really did matter to you. If you like that it's healthier, the warranty, there's no wrong answer. The speed of the cooking, savings on energy, remember most of the cooking's done off the stove. Um, the taste of the food or the simple fact that it's made in America. Then, put in today's date. Oh, I just went blank. What is today? Oh, thank you. Yes, thank you. Now, everybody make sure to put in 228. 16, and where it says chef, go ahead and write my name on there, that will help me out a lot. Stuart Mayo, yeah. I had a little girl one day stop by, she said, is that really your name? I said, yes. <laughs> and uh, said, you must have been destined to be a chef. I thought that was kind of cool. <laughs> okay, now I do have one more surprise for you guys, and here's how we'll do it. Uh, underneath the name address, over the box, I have a list of pieces. First item on the list is kitchen cutter, so everybody go ahead and check the box for kitchen cutter. And then right next to that, it says show special. Go ahead and write down free, it's a free gift. So, and make sure you print, press firmly that it goes through all three copies. Perfect. 
up next, skip the combo, skip the accessory kit, where it says other. Everybody check the box for other. And then, a lot of people mess this up. Right on the exact same line next to the word other, I need you to write in seven inch saw tape. If you want to, do it this way. Seven with two tick marks, and saw tape. S-A-U-T-E, and then write it free for the seven inch saw tape. Because today you get a both. But by real surprise, this is my gift to you, and this is not my job, this is my business. I am allowed to give away free cookware according to my production, and this show has been awesome. Everybody in San Antonio is buying our cookware like crazy, and I think I finally figured out why. How many of you here really are trying to eat a lot healthier? There it is. Yeah, see, I knew it. That's why you guys are still hanging with me. You guys really are health conscious, and this makes a lot of sense. So to make this really special for you, here's how it works. Let me know. Just raise your hand, say, Stuart. I'm going to order a classic set, a family set, a deluxe, the works. Any one of the payment plans you wish, layaway, cash, check, or charge, that's up to you. But I'll make sure when your set arrives at your home, the cutter will be included for free and the skillet. I'm also going to throw one of these in. And I only have two left, so please don't be disappointed if you're number three. But for the first two people today, I'm never too proud to dip your tummy one last time, okay? Mind y'all how awesome this gourmet cooker really is. Does that really look good, guys? That is my ginger lime jalapeno chicken. I mean, it is the best. Here's what we're going to do. First two people right now, raise your hand, let me know. I'm not going to give you that one. No, I want this to be special. With any set, base classic, family, deluxe, or the works. Why not? It's my gift. I'm going to throw in our new Jumbo 6-Quart Gourmet, oh yeah, 6-Quart Gourmet Slow Cooker. That would be my special gift to you. I know you guys want the first one. I'll do that for one more of you if you'd like. Just let me know, okay? That way you get it all. That one right there has a retail price of over $700. I'm going to throw it in for free. That's my gift. Everybody say thank you, Stuart. Thank you, Stuart. You're welcome. God bless you all. Now you get it all. All together, over $1,200 worth of our cookware for free just for hanging out with me here at the show for a little while. That's not a bad trade-off. <laughs> no. And, of course, you get all the discounted prices, too. Now, here's what we need to do. Uh, go ahead and choose the very next box underneath your 7-inch sauté pan. Check that one off, and we'll write in the special gift. Uh, write in 6-quart gourmet cooker. And uh, if you want to, you can use two of those lines up to write that in there. I always do. But make sure you put six quarts so that the girls at the office, when they see that, will know that they gave you the bigger one. Because okay. otherwise, they, the four quart is our, sta it was, is our standard. Four C cooker, C O O K E R. And then I have to write in free for the gourmet cooker. That way, you get all three of them together. Now, the next step is the most important part, you guys. You have to choose your set. I cannot make a recommendation, choose, but choose wisely. Remember, you're only going to have to buy one set of this for the rest of your lifetime. Pick the one you know you really do need, okay? Don't just go with the classic set because it's the cheapest set that I've got. If the classic set is good for two people. If you know you cook for a party or a four or five people every all the time, get the family set. The difference in price is only 400 bucks. You'll be a lot happier when they have a big family to cook with. Uh, for example, like these guys over here, I just count the two of them, but I'm going to guess you guys have a big family, don't you? I do. How many people live in the home right now? Seven. So that's a big family. Uh, even the family set would be pushing it to get a family, to get, to get that much food cooked in one afternoon for one meal. You might be happy with the deluxe. Uh, I do have a few larger pieces that are available. I've got a giant jumbo skillet over on that side. Uh, that might be able to handle the size of meals you're cooking all the time. We could probably do a little mixing and matching on the free gifts and get you the larger pieces to kind of kind of customize your set a little bit. I'll, I'll work with you if, you if you'll let me try to get you the best set that I can. Fair enough. Uh, but definitely the family set will be a good start set for you guys. Uh, now you guys here in the front, now I'm kind of guessing he does most of the cooking at home, am I right? No? Do you guys eat out all the time? No. Very well. Okay, but she, she does most of the cooking. How many people live in the house right now? Is it just the two of you? The kids grow up? or? Two boys. Right. I'm guessing older, right? Yeah. They eat a ton, don't they? Yeah. You definitely would be better off with the larger pieces. 
So where it says family, check out the family set if you'll be happy with that. These guys over here, they look like they're newlyweds. Close enough. I mean, you know, come on. We've been, uh, I've been married for 24 years. You guys, how long have you been married now? Still in your honeymoon. How oh, very cool, guys. Uh, you know, if you're planning to have four, two, three, four kids, uh, the bigger pieces would be the proper one to choose. So where it says family, pick the family set, even though right now it's probably just the two of you. Oh my no? How many people all together? Oh, did you have two families join together? Or? Holy cow. Yeah. It's like the Brady Bunch, guys. <laughs> I, I, I was kind of wondering about that. I wasn't going to say anything. I was kind of like, I think she's got one in the oven over there. But I, 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 I never know about these things. It's like, oh, don't do that. It's like, is that your wife? No, it's my, my sister. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. So uh, with a family your size, the bigger pieces are actually, you probably need the deluxe. That would be the best choice. If you need to, put on the layaway, pay it off for an entire year. Layaway is pretty simple. You make small monthly payments. You can always pay it off faster or pay a little extra time. You can have a little extra time when you make the payments smaller. Pretty simple to do. And it is a totally free layaway. As opposed to uh, what they do at the Renaissance Center at Walmart where you put it all layaway and if you miss one payment, they keep all your money and keep your product too. We don't we do not do it that way in Texas. We do things a little different. So I'll work with you. I want you to have the cookware. If we need to stretch it out a little bit longer, we'll, we'll do whatever's needed. I'll make sure that we get you all the way to the end.